love Lovely this look. Lovely to see you. Do you know what? I, I actually bought this ages ago right. and I said, this is for Lorraine because oh, I think she'd like it. I do like it. I, I do. knew you would. It looks amazing. It looks really good. <laughs> now, look, this is a really interesting new album because it's almost like, you know when you put an extension on your house? It's yeah. a little bit like that because it's like a real follow-up from the last one. It kind of makes sense. It sort of runs into it. Yeah, so I wrote The Architect when I was pregnant and then and I, we spoke about yeah, it. Yeah, I remember. And... Um, it was all about looking out at the world. Yes. And then with this, I felt like it's always easier to write in hindsight. And there's so. one that I wrote, which is kind of tongue in cheek about being obsessed by my boyfriend's ex <laughs> in a haze of like <laughs> breastfeeding, hormonal, <laughs> self-deprecating. <laughs> I hear you, I hear you. I love the fact because it's really good that you're not, because everybody on the outside looking in thinks, oh, it's all wonderful. And it is, I mean, you've got a great life and it's fantastic. And I know you love being a mum, yeah. but it's not that easy. You know, yeah. there, are, there are problems along the, the, the way and it does change a relationship drastically. Somehow. Yeah, it's quite scary, that yeah. bit I found quite hard. Mm. Nobody because, tells you. No, because I <laughs> definitely had a baby with the love of my life. Yeah. And I just felt like we were impenetrable and infallible. And then you have this child and you're like, oh, my God, I'm having feelings about this man that I never thought I'd have. Like, I hate you. <laughs> but I had to make a video where I actually killed him. <laughs> Get it out of your system. <laughs> just get it out of your system. But, home, like, that's the but best then idea. also, you can't just do what you would have done in your youth, which is like, oh, go away, I'm going to end it. You have to stay there. Of course because, you do. And, and then you work it. through it, and somehow you come out the other side, and you're like, oh, I love you more than I've ever loved you exactly. because of it. But it's quite, yeah, it's quite challenging, and I think it's sad that people don't talk about mm. that. Or that they think, you know, that if you say you struggle with parenthood or you struggle with your relationship, that it means you don't love either of those things people like mm. your child or your partner and that's not true no not it's at much all more complicated than that. life is really complicated and mm. it's got i think it's got more complicated now and that's why i think people really identify with your songs because it's like you're summing up what we're all going through i found my mum was quite not critical but she was constantly acting like i was completely incapable of doing it yeah and um that was quite difficult to but deal with. I think a lot with. of mums are like... Yeah, and I, a lot of teenagers yeah. are relating to this song as well because they're, like, leaving home... Sure. ..and they're saying, like, Mum, can you just stop <laughs> bullying me? <laughs> just leave me. I'll be fine. Yeah. I know. I know. And it's you've hard. got it's to, hard. like, I remember when I left home and the first time I ever got ill, I didn't know how to cope with it. And yeah. I was, like, in A&E and &E, and all I had was, a, like, bit of conjunctivitis. <laughs> <laughs> because your mum is looking after you. No, I get it. Normally, I was I like, I called my mum and I was like, I'm blind. <laughs> She's awful. She was like, just go to the doctor. You'll be grand. Yeah. Get your cream out of the chemist. You'll be all right. It'll be absolutely fine. Yeah. And your man, he stays at home, which is good. Yeah, he's yeah. doing the childcare and also That's paints. Great. Lets you do what you want to do. Oh, he paints as well. Yeah, so he's a painter. Oh, he's and gorgeous. He's very handsome. He is very handsome. Um, <laughs> And, Love it. Yeah, and then does the childcare. It's great. Um, which is amazing because now, well, he's fluent in French, so now my child's got two languages because of Wow. That. Now that is amazing because when they're tiny, they just absorb it like little sponges. Yeah, so that's, that's so, so good. good. And I've been off out doing various things like sure. this record. It's called the Zeitgeist Edition. Yep. We're going to see you in this thing called Pennyworth, yes. isn't it? No, it's kind of like Batman. It's sort of got a Batman vibe about it. You're a baddie. Yeah, it's a prequel to Batman. So it's about his butler's life in London before oh, okay. he became his butler. So he's butler Alfred That's, Pennyworth yep, yeah. um, in his youth. So it's set in the 60s. What a good idea. Um, yeah, and I'm a horrible person in it, which I really love. It's a stretch. Stretch for it you. It is not. <laughs> <laughs> it's all those things that you, like, can't... Do. You know, I'm very optimistic and I feel <laughs> like it's quite a luxury to go to work and just be yeah. asked to be more evil. How fantastic. Are you sorted for Christmas? Have you got it all done? I've got all my shopping done. Well done, girl. All well my done. food's ordered. Excellent. You're so organised. I'm ready. And I'm cooking, so I have to be organised. Have you got loads of people? Is it Eleven. <sighs> Oh gosh, but 11 on your own? On my own. I, I bow to you. That is wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, what I like to do is fill my life up with excessive amounts of work and then in my holidays create excessive amounts of work as well. <laughs> I love you. And then I'm a martyr and I go, <laughs> none of you care. None of you know. Every you year <laughs> I say to them, all the same guests, <laughs> I'm not doing it again, you're ungrateful, none of you help. And, and they all just <laughs> sit there laughing, eye rolling. Because they know they're going to be back. <laughs> yes.